Hello my friends. In this video we're going to create a new project in Android Studio that will use the explicit intent to understand it well. So create a new project with empty activity. I will name it as explicit app. I will select the language for Kotlin and click on finish. So you want to be a professional Android app developer but you don't know where you should start, what things you should learn, you came to the right place. Welcome to our top bestseller Android app development course, a comprehensive program designed to equip you with the skills and knowledge required to excel in the exciting field of Android app development. So explicit intents specify the component. In our case here, we will create a new activity, the second activity. So when the user clicks a button here in the first activity, it will direct uh, him to the second activity. In this case, the intent provides the external class to be invoked. Let's start. Here, let's create and let's edit this edit text, that's uh, text view, sorry. Text view, I will name it as we are in the first activity or first activity. First activity, simple. Text size will be 32. SP. I will drag it up. I will add another text view or without text view, I will make it directly a button here. Wrap content, wrap content. ID will be btn and the text would be click or go to second activity okay i will drag it here and drop it and add inf and infer its constraints i click on infer constraints and it's good this is the button for inferring constraints okay till now we are great we created this activity now let's go to this package here and Let's create a new activity and we select empty activity. This is how we create a new activity in the package. Activity name, I will name it as activity two. The layout will be activity underscore two. Source language is Kotlin. Click on finish and here we go we've created another activity. This is activity number two. Its content is the layout. If we open the layout folder, we see activity underscore two dot XML, which is for the activity dot two or activity two dot KT class file. Okay. We have two activities, the main and activity two. Okay. Let's uh, edit let us edit uh, this uh, activity to layout i will drag and drop a text view infer its constraints and i will go to the split mode here and text size 32 sp and you are on the second activity Okay, gravity center. Okay, and everything is working fine. Now I will add some background uh, till 200. That's good. Let's go to the main activity here. Let's define some uh, widgets. So, button. BTN or var. I will declare 
directly in the on create method for PDN of type button. I will uh, import the package of button equal find view by id r dot id dot btn okay this is the button now i need to add a click listener to it set on click listener new set on click listener i can pass the view but it will be directly uh, imported by and passed by copy now what I need to set on click listener when the when the user clicks on this button I need to direct him to the second activity this is done by using the explicit intent how to create intents var intent i of type intent equal to I will alt plus enter to import the class for the intents and here android.content.intent and I will create intent this and I will pass the second screen which is the activity to dot class okay or like this two dots class dot java okay this is how we use it in kotlin so i need to use these two dots i'm specifying it's an activity type class dot java which is here activity two dot kt okay now i told you that i need to use a method called the start activity i pass the variable and the object of type intent to here and everything will work fine i can uh, remove this by the way okay so don't miss guys it's very important many people ask me and this is activity two i'm specifying that i need to go this intent i need to direct this main activity towards the activity two so i need to display activity two dot class which is a class dot java type okay now let's run our application and see and here we go this is the first activity if we click on go to second activity button so it will direct us towards the second screen you are on the second screen if we click on this back button here in the emulator it will direct us to the first activity okay this is the power of using intents one important thing i should mention here before we end the lesson of the explicit intents passing data between activities it's very important topic and we and by the way we are going to use this type of intents um, in many of our future projects okay so pay attention for this type and please please uh, write everything down every note on your copybook to to be uh, aware what happened what will happen later on in the next videos okay think about if i need to pass the name of the user from one activity to another or i need to pass some information from one activity to another i need to use the put extra there are a lot of methods we can use the flags extras and so on but i need for now to concentrate on put extra method i need to pass here two parameters the key and the value the key which is uh, for example name or age and i will pass the value i can uh, pass every type every uh, type of object array bundle 
string, double, float, long, whatever you want. Okay, these are the types you can pass it. But the key should be a string. Okay, the value I will pass it like uh, 30. Okay, now if I go to the second activity, I need to receive data. Receiving receiving data from the first activity. So I'm passing the, um, the data from the first activity to the second activity, okay? In the second activity, I'm going to receive the data and this is done by using the bundle variable. Val bundle it's of type bundle equal to intent dot get extras or okay, i can get extras okay alt plus enter change the variable to bundle of this uh, um, this type okay any type So in order to get the, the age, so I create a val age equal bundle dot the key dot get. What is the key? It's a case sensitive, guys. It's very important to copy it exactly like this. So I will copy this key and I will paste it here as uh, the, uh, this, the key that I need to get. It. Okay. It's very important. Now, um, I need to create a toast message to display for the user that we've got the age. Make text. I pass the context and the message, your age, and I pass the age variable, and I can set the duration toast dot length long dot show message okay now let's run our application and see how it looks i go to the second activity and here is the information that i've passed which is the age 30. again if i go back go to second activity and I am going to the second activity with this information age equal to 30. So this is how we pass the data between the two uh, and between the activities using the key, but using the extras, which is of type key.